Hey everybody, this is Tim from AndroidPCReview.com. We tested the Minix Neo Z64 back in February of 2015, and it was a really good mini PC, but it had one glaring flaw, Windows 8, and Windows 8 with Bing no less. So we've had a lot of people ask if you can use Windows 10 on it, and the answer is yes. So I'm gonna take you through the upgrade process. Now normally the Windows 10 upgrade is part of Windows Update, it will show up as one of your optional updates. Now, I actually had a problem with this where no matter what I tried, it would not show up. But that's not too big a problem. Microsoft really wants all Windows 7 and Windows 8 users to upgrade to Windows 10. It's just a more secure operating system, plus it gets everybody on one code base. If you go to either Microsoft.com or Windows.com, you'll see the icon there that will say upgrade to Windows 10 for free. So now what this does is it kind of force feeds that update into your Windows Update program. So if you click on the button, it's a small program that you download, and that'll kind of start the ball rolling. So what you're going to want to do is download and run that small program. And what that's going to do again is give you the option to upgrade now or schedule it for a time when you're not using your computer. Now the entire process took me a little over an hour or so be sure to block off a good amount of time for it. And here we are back at the Windows Update page. Now, the file size is about 2 gigs, so it may take some time to download. And as you've probably guessed by now, I have sped up the video here. That way you're not just sitting watching my status bar do nothing for an hour. Now, if you haven't used Windows 10 before, it is going to be a little bit different than Windows 8, and by little, I mean a lot. Windows 8 was a radical departure from the desktop operating systems that Microsoft used to put out, like Windows 7, Windows XP, even Windows Vista. Microsoft really thought that everything would move to a touchscreen interface, so that's why they brought out the Metro interface that we all know and hate. They got rid of the Start menu because they thought nobody would use it. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't really work out well for desktop PCs and laptop PCs that don't have a touchscreen, uh, of which the Minix C64 is a desktop PC, albeit a very small one. So Windows 10 kind of gets back to that, which means it's going to work out so much better for this device. Now, normally on my Windows PC installations, I do like doing a clean install, but I don't recommend that here for two main reasons. The first is the most important. You're going to get all of your Windows 8 drivers from Minix, and they are going to be compatible with Windows 10. I've yet to find anything that didn't work, to be honest. And that just makes upgrading so much easier. The second reason is Microsoft in Windows 10 will actually give you the option to change your settings, like your privacy settings, your location settings, all of those things that you normally have to do at the beginning. Um, now, I always recommend doing custom settings and not the express settings, and I'll show you why. Now the two settings I recommend changing are connecting automatically to your contacts Wi-Fi and automatically connecting to hotspots. Um, personally, connecting to my contacts Wi-Fi automatically is just a little on the creepy side, so I turn that off. Um, the second thing is, depending on how much you know and trust your neighbors, you might not want to connect to hotspots automatically. Windows 10 does include Cortana. No, it's not going to be as cool as the Halo AI, but it is Microsoft's answer to Siri and OK Google. Um, it is a work in progress. Hopefully it's going to get better, but hey, it's here now. Um, once you get to this point, there's not really much you need to do other than click next a couple of times, and soon you're going to be presented with the new but strangely familiar Windows 10 desktop. Now, as I said, I haven't found anything yet that hasn't worked in this upgrade process. Um, all in all, it did take about an hour and a half, as you can see by the, the clock there. Um, but all in all, an easy process. So if you haven't upgraded your Minix Z64 to Windows 10, highly recommend you do so now, especially while it's free. Um, you never know how long that's going to last. But if you have any experiences, leave a comment below. And thanks for watching.